Hello beautiful people, it is Amanda here from Mystical Dragon back again with another spell for you and this is a spell that is perfect to do at any full moon really but we have specifically tied this one into our full moon box for this upcoming Virgo full moon which is next Tuesday March the 7th. Um, this is one that is manifesting your goals with an earth planting spell and it's a really simple spell. You don't need lots of tools to be able to have a successful spell uh, with this one. What we need is, we need obviously a pot that we can work with. We need some soil, which you can buy potting mix, or you can just get some dirt out of one of the gardens around your home and utilize that. Uh, we're using a green moss agate tumbled crystal because that's one that is connected to gardens and growth and greenery and growing and uh, manifesting and you need some seeds that you want to work with in our full moon box we are working with snapdragons we felt this was appropriate from mystical dragon but also because the snapdragons they are beautiful flowers and they have magical properties connected to protection purification and working with fire magic so we figured why not grow yourself some snapdragons that you'll be able to use for some of your magical witchy purposes down the track once they've been growing for you so uh, you, of course you'll also need a little container of water as well to be able to water your plants in with at the time that you do your spell too and for ease i've already just filled up my pot here uh, i've put my soil in ready to go and we encourage you to make a little hole ready for some seeds in there as well now you do want to think about um, what you do want to manifest. So it's not going into this as just manifesting anything. We do want to think about what do we purposely want to manifest. Now with a Virgo full moon, I would encourage you to focus on some of the practical things that you maybe need to grow and manifest in your life for more of your everyday comfort, your everyday living uh, so that could be something to do with perhaps work and being able to earn a living and provide for yourself and your family at home. Uh, it, it honestly could be anything that makes sense to you that assists you on a practical level. Now, the reason I suggest more of a practical focus is because the Virgo full moon particularly is going to be helpful with those practical energies, bringing in and, and taking care of some of our practical needs some of that everyday life stuff so you might want to think along those lines to really tap into the virgo energy or there might be something that you want to put energy towards that's maybe a big long-term goal uh, maybe buying a house um, going on that holiday buying a car you know anything at all that makes sense to you what i would encourage you not to do is have a list of things that you're working with just really hone into maybe one or two things that you really want to put energy towards in your manifesting. So think about that, have that in mind before you begin your spell, then you would fill up your pot, you would get that ready, put your little hole in the top. We do want to charge our crystal with what we are asking for, so putting it between both hands and you want to think about you want to visualize, you want to affirm that thing that you are asking for the full moon and God and Goddess and universe to assist you with manifesting in your life. So as much as you can put, you know, what would it feel like if I had that thing, if it was already in my life, putting that emotional energy into it, seeing it as clearly as you can, affirming it, perhaps create for yourself a nice statement uh, that works really well for whatever it is that you're requesting. So once you've spent a good couple of minutes charging that up, you want to do exactly the same with a few seeds. Now I do encourage you to pick out a couple of the seeds. You probably want two or three or maybe even five seeds because if you plant a few, you're more likely to have one that will come up because we do have some seeds uh, as gardeners that don't necessarily always um, grow so you do want to put a couple in there not just one single one do the same as you did with your crystal so you want to pop your seeds in your hand the two hands do exactly the same see it feel the energy feel the emotion 
affirm it as much as you can. So working with all the ways that you possibly can to really see it, feel it and affirm it. Then once you've got your seeds all charged up, you want to pop them into the hole that you've prepared and we will gently cover that with soil. Then we want to place our hands over the pot, not too far from it. And we want to do exactly the same thing. We're sending some more of that energy in, seeing, feeling and affirming uh, what we're requesting. And then when you feel ready, we have a beautiful invocation. Dear earth, dear seeds, may you grow and sprout. And as you do, so shall I prosper within and without. Earth, crystal and seeds, I do now enchant. I transform you into my manifesting plant. Grow lush, grow well, bring my request to me. As I will it, so mote it be. And then you want to water your plant in as well. So just tipping a little bit of water in there. Get the soil nice and moist. So we need to be able to maintain our little, our seeds and our pot. And once that's all watered in uh, and we're happy, then we can also say with blessings from all the elements to nurture and keep us both. Sun's fire to warm and encourage us. Water so we may unfurl and grow. Earth to strengthen and support us and air to help lift us upwards. With harm to none, so mood it be, blessed be. And making sure that you nestle your crystal in there as well because it will assist your plant in growing and also your spell request to be manifest as well. Make sure you move your pot. Now you can leave it on your altar to charge up overnight if you would like before you move it to its place where it's going to live. But make sure that you put it somewhere where it's going to get some sunlight somewhere that you won't forget it, where you'll be able to remember to take care of it, to water it every few days, and you can add energy to it as you are tending your plant and know that as your plant grows, so too is what you've requested. It will be manifesting at the same time that your plant is growing. So we need to maintain our plant and take care of our plant to assist the spell to really be made manifest. So I truly hope that you enjoy working with this particular spell. It is a nice one with that earthy energy, uh, with Virgo being connected to that element of earth. But as I said, you honestly could do this at any of the full moons that you felt called to work this magic. Wishing you all the very best, lots of full moon blessings being sent out. And I look forward to catching you guys again soon.